Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. This is a reading for Aries and Aries Crosswatchers, okay? I'm going to use a deck that I created myself to get a brutally honest look at your person or whoever is most active in your energy, okay? I've already prepared the deck, so we're going to go ahead and just get started. Thank you guys very much for your likes your shares, your subscriptions, your beautiful comments, your donations, your bookings, all of those things really helps the channel to grow. I also want to let you guys know that October 31st is the last day of booking for the sale price that I have, uh, $10.10 .10 for a private reading. To celebrate my new channel so if you're interested in that make sure that you book with me by that date all right so let's see what we have here aries we have this person is honest so that's a good thing you've changed everything for me cut from the same cloth i believe that you already got a twin flame alert on your last reading aries and this is a Another twin flame alert from a totally different deck. That's interesting. Loyal and divinely favored. These are really great cards. Winner. And <laughs> your grandmama fucking this person up. So your grandmama fucking somebody up. Probably not this person. Somebody else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> They came out with messages from the other side. <laughs> Look, your grandmama wants you to know <laughs> that she's coming through from the other side, okay, to deliver this message to you through me in this reading to let you know she is fucking somebody up right now, okay? I would say whoever fucked you over the worst, <laughs> your grandmama just fucking them up. Somebody who's stubborn and ignorant. Okay, I admire your strength. So I think this is, this, this, <laughs> it's like side note. We got a side note action going on here. Yeah, so we got a thrill seeker, point keeper. This is the person who your grandmama fucking up, okay? There's two different people here. All right, I, I kind of feel like you might be single right now. If you're not single, then you just maybe recently got into a relationship with this good person here. If not, you're probably about to. And, you know, maybe you, maybe your last relationship or somebody, you're going to know who it is, okay? Because your grandma will go let you know. <laughs> your grandma might going to come through and say, I'm fucking this person up and then just not let you know who that person is, okay? You, it's probably the very first person you thought of. Um, but there's somebody here and they hurt you, like real bad, and they thought it was funny. Thrill Seeker, Point Keeper. They thought it was funny. It was a game to them to hurt you. And it was, it was a game to them. Like in their mind. Like oh like. How bad can I hurt this person? How bad can I fuck this person's life up? How many things can I destroy in their life? How many things can I steal from them? How many things can I take from them? This could be more than one person. Okay. But. You have one in particular grandmother. And she is not to be fucked with. And she's watching. And she saw all the shit that went down. And she is tearing this motherfucker up. Okay? This is somebody who you're probably not. Uh, you're not in this person's life. That's why this message is coming through. Most likely. Most likely. Because if you saw what was going on with this person... You might not need this message because you probably already know. Um, this is probably somebody that you just cut off and you're like, man, fuck you. I'm not dealing with you anymore. And your grandmama wants you to know, hey, I got you. I got you, boo. I'm fucking them up. <laughs> so karma is hitting this particular person through your crossed over grandmother who is now your um, spirit ancestor. And they are... They're like, bet. You want to see who the fuck can win this game? Hmm? 
You want to see who the fucking winner is? It ain't going to be you, bitch. That's the energy I'm getting. Like, your grandma is pissed. Like, you thought you won, huh? I'll show you who the fuck the winner is. Man, this person is getting it so fucking bad. <laughs> so bad. Okay. So, that's the side note. Alright. But... This, like I said, either the person that you're with now or the person that you're going to be with next. And I think that your grandma has something to do with this as well. Because your grandmother wants to see you in a good, healthy relationship with somebody who, who loves you, who admires you. This person here, who's a winner instead of a fucking loser. This person here who's going to be loyal to you. You're going to be, uh, who is divinely favored. That means that God... Um, favors them they they um that what is that word uh i can't remember but they have spiritual ranking okay this person is like totally opposite this person is probably a, a lot more like you you guys are cut from the same cloth so this is like i said a twin flame alert if you're a twin flame this is your twin flame if not then you know, whatever, you guys are just like the same, you're cut from the same cloth, you're very, very similar in the right ways. And this person is going to change everything for you, you're going to change everything for each other, and you might already know this person in some way, and you've already changed everything for this person somehow. But there are huge positive changes coming from this person, and this person is very honest, so you can trust them and believe them. Is what this reading is saying because they're loyal. They're not gonna. Um, they're not gonna treat you like this person here who is getting their fucking asses handed to them currently. And I feel like that shit's gonna go on for a while, okay? Because I feel like whoever this person is who made it a game to try to destroy you did it for a while. Could be a family member. Could be like one of the first people that you dated or some shit. But they had a lot of fun with this. And they thought that, you know, it was something they could just keep doing for a long time. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like this went on for a while. And so, <laughs> their punishment's going to go on for a while, honey, all right? <laughs> it's going to, that shit's going to drag out for them. Mm-hmm. Because your grandmother has... She has, like, authority. Divine authority. It's like your grandma has permission from God to fuck this person up. So they're going to get it real bad. <laughs> nice. 